Manuel Rueda is in Mexico City. He's joining me now by phone. Manuel, can you set the scene for us? What are you seeing? Yeah, the traffic is very slow right now. I'm in the financial sector, a place with lots of office buildings, and pretty much everyone evacuated uh, the building. Uh, here you can see, I don't know if you can see some people maybe here. I'm, muted. I'm, I'm literally uh, standing with my laptop on the sidewalk uh, next to a coffee shop that has Wi-Fi, and that's how I'm able to communicate with you because uh, everything is closed right now. All the commerce, all the shops are, are still shut down. Uh, they've been shut down for more than an hour since the earthquake happened. Manuel, we're seeing an entire building, the image of an entire building just crumpling down to the ground. Was there a sense that people were able to get out in time? Yeah, um, I was actually at a bank, and uh, when it happened, I was just outside a bank, and, you know, there were hundreds of people rushing out of these big office buildings at the same time. Uh, now, ironically, there was an earthquake drill this morning, which happens, uh, you know, every uh, September in Mexico City. They do this earthquake drill on the anniversary of the 1985 earthquake. Uh, today, uh, September 19, is the anniversary of an earthquake that killed uh, hundreds of people in Mexico City. So they do these drills. So there was actually, you know, people going outside today doing the same thing. And in the afternoon, it was for real. Yeah, it certainly was for real. And uh, it's just uh, incredibly ironic that this took place just two hours after that entire drill that takes place every year. I want to ask you, Manuel, what are officials saying on the ground in Mexico? What are you hearing? It's very early to know what happened yet. Uh, all I've heard so far is that it was a 7.1 magnitude uh, and that there was damage in some buildings in Mexico City. I haven't heard anything yet about other parts of the country. Uh, too early to tell. Uh, I heard the epicenter was in Cuernavaca, I believe, a place about 120 kilometers, uh, 70 miles from here. But I'm not 100% sure on that information. Where were you, Manuel, when this earthquake happened? Can you walk us through the few moments when you were experiencing this? I was walking outside a bank uh, in the financial sector on Reforma Avenue, which is one of the busiest avenues in the city. Uh, as soon as I walked out, uh, the buildings began to shake. Uh, there was a glass building there, and you could hear the grass kind of uh, hitting against the building next door. Uh, some people who came out of that building told me that the walls were cracking as they went down the stairs. So uh, people were, were very scared. Uh, Mexico City has lots of uh, smaller earthquake movements, and people here are kind of used to encountering this type of situation, perhaps like in L.A. But uh, this time I definitely sensed uh, more fear from people. I, mean, I don't know if you can see in the background there, there's a shop where the glass, where the glass broke. Um, yeah, so the damage is visible. Um, I'm staying in the hotel here, and uh, we can't go into the hotel yet. There was a crack uh, in front of the hotel, and the electricity in some parts of town has also gone down. And there's been gas leaks as well. Gas leaks as well. We also know that they have shut down the airport and suspended operations after the quake. There are reports of fires as well. Then, while there was an earthquake earlier this month, also not too far from Mexico City, how does this compare as what you're seeing on the ground? I wasn't here during the last earthquake, so I couldn't tell you. I do know there were lot, there was lots of damage, about a six or seven hours drive from Mexico City. But uh, like I said, the epicenter for this quake wasn't Mexico City, although it was felt very strongly here. And uh, we're still, uh, you know, we still have to see what what they say. Uh, what the authorities say about what happened in other parts of the country. And Manuel, are people concerned about aftershocks at this point? Yeah, that's usually something that happens. And, you know, like I said, the, the earthquake happened uh, about an hour and a half ago, and the office buildings are still not letting the people in. I'm standing outside a shopping mall. Uh, they're not letting anyone in either. You can see here that the guard isn't letting people in. Uh, so... So, yeah, that's, uh, the, the people are still worried about aftershocks, definitely. And are officials giving any advice to the people right now uh, just a short time after this happened? Uh, I haven't heard of anything yet, to be honest. Uh, usually what happens is uh, people stay out of the buildings. Uh, there are 
being a bit of the company, police, uh, rescue workers that go inside the buildings to check if everything is okay before people can go back in. Manuel Rueda, freelance reporter on the ground in Mexico City, not far from where this earthquake took place. Manuel, thank you very much for joining us. This is a CBS News special report. I'm Elaine Quijano reporting from CBS News headquarters in New York. Good afternoon. There has been a major earthquake in Mexico, a magnitude 7.1, centered about 75 miles southeast of Mexico City. First reports say at least five people were killed. Our Jamie Yukis has been monitoring this story from Los Angeles, and she joins us now with more. Jamie, what's the latest? Elaine, I can tell you we're seeing some very dramatic images just coming into our newsroom from Mexican television stations. We've seen some buildings collapse, a number of those, at least at one building explosion. As you said, five people dead. That is the current number being reported by local television stations in Mexico and around Mexico City. I can tell you that the area had been on high alert. This is the anniversary of that 1985 earthquake that was devastating to that area just a couple hours ago. The area had actually gone through drills to make sure that people were ready for another massive earthquake. Some of the reports are saying that there was no alert system activated. We know that there is usually an alert system that's activated, but at this point in time, what we're hearing is that the ground just started shaking uh, buildings. There was rubble. Uh, that started collapsing very momentarily after the ground started shaking. About a 7.1 magnitude quake is what's being reported right now. There's been different reports between the Mexican government and the U.S. government saying between 6.8 and 7.1 magnitude quake. At least five people have died, and of course these pictures are coming in just a couple of weeks after we saw that magnitude 8.2 earthquake in southern Mexico, uh, which reports indicate almost 100 people died during that quake. Now. Some of the latest numbers uh, coming in right now is that it's unclear if people were inside a number of buildings that did collapse, so that death toll number could go up from what we're being told is five right now. We're going to have to keep an eye on some of those reports coming in and some of the images that are coming in from local media. Again, this earthquake centered near Mexico City, but about 93 miles away in Puebla. Uh, Mexican television stations broadcasting images of those collapsed buildings in heavily populated parts of the city. We should mention that there's a lot of traffic in that area uh, where traffic is at a standstill, people trying to get out. The other images that we started seeing come in right away was from office buildings where people uh, were at work. The quake started. They started running for the exit, some of the doorways there. You could see people hugging each other and diving under desks at one point in time. Uh, the Mexican president just recently sent out some tweets uh, saying that he had called the National Emergency Committee to assess the situation and coordinate action actions right now. Uh, before returning to your home or building, review damage, disconnect the lights, and close the gas. It's important to avoid travel on streets and avenues to allow emergency vehicles to pass. It sounds like the president is in the air right now traveling uh, within the country and not in Mexico City itself. So we will, um, we will continue to monitor that as well. I want to throw it back to you, Elaine, as we continue to monitor some of the situations. Of course, this is a breaking story. At least five people dead in a 7.1 magnitude quake near Mexico City. Jamie, these images are just devastating, including that image of a building. We don't know if anyone was inside, but that building that collapsed there, um, we're waiting to find out what exactly that building was. Obviously, a very chaotic situation right now in the immediate aftermath. But you mentioned earlier, Jamie, that this particular earthquake comes on the anniversary of an earthquake in 1985 that killed thousands. And at the moment that this quake struck today, there was actually a drill going on. Tell us more about that. That's, the drill started about two hours before this earthquake hit, and I can tell you that the country had been high, uh, on high alert. Just when that earthquake hit in southern Mexico earlier this month, people could feel it within Mexico City, and people were running to the streets in their pajamas. It hit in the overnight hours. It brought back uh, some of those images from 1985 where it looks like 10,000 people died. People may not remember that, but thousands of people died in that earthquake. So this was very fresh in people's minds. People have been talking about 
without earthquakes. Again, an alert system did not go off in this quake today. They had been doing drills about two hours before this earthquake struck. So people taken by surprise when the earth started shaking. The, obviously in Mexico, they know how to go through earthquakes. They've had to live through earthquakes. It's a way of life for many people there. Uh, so it's one of those things that they had been talking about it. They went through the drills this morning. Uh, people were remembering the victims from 1985, and then this happened. So just kind of uh, an ironic moment within the country as well as we start seeing some of these images come into play where we don't know how many people exactly have been killed. The first estimate is five people, Elaine. All right, Jamie Yukis in Los Angeles for us as we continue to monitor these images of just utter devastation, utter destruction in Mexico. To repeat, there has been a major earthquake in Mexico centered about 75 miles southeast of Mexico City, a magnitude 7.1. At least five people are dead, but the search for victims is just beginning. There will be much more on your local news, on this CBS station, on our 24-hour streaming news service, CBSN, and right here tonight on the CBS Evening News. I'm Elaine Kihano, CBS News, New York. For news 24 hours a day, go to cbsnews.com. We are following a powerful earthquake in central Mexico. It was centered in Puebla State with a preliminary magnitude of 7.1. Tremors could be felt about 120 kilometers away in the capital, Mexico City. No word yet on casualties, but there are reports of collapsed buildings and large cracks in, some ground, in the ground in some places. The quake struck on the anniversary of the 1985 earthquake in Mexico City that claimed 10,000 lives. CGTN's Frank Contreras uh, told us earlier what he experienced in Mexico City. In the street outside my apartment building, when the earthquake hit, everything started moving, swaying back and forth wildly. Things were falling off the walls. I picked up my dog, she had no collar on, and ran for the door and almost fell down the stairs because they were moving back and forth wildly. We raced out into the street and saw thousands of families here in the neighborhood where I am, uh, out in the streets, pretty much in panic. We stood in the middle of the street on the asphalt, and the ground continued to move very violently. So not only was it powerful, it also lasted a very long time. In the 21 years that I've been in Mexico City, this is by far the most powerful earthquake that I personally have felt. Preliminary reports indicate that it was a magnitude 7.1 earthquake with an epicenter potentially in the neighboring state of Puebla, not far from Mexico City. So that was less powerful than the September 7th earthquake measured at 8.1, but the epicenter was closer, and that's probably why we felt it more powerfully here. Uh, people are still out in the streets. We're still trying to ascertain whether there is any major damage to this city or to the cities that are around the epicenter. We'll have more for you later on that uh, here on CGTN. It's Frank Lopez reporting from Mexico City. Thank you. Let's go back to our top story, the powerful earthquake in Mexico, 7.1 magnitude. Frank Contreras joins us on the phone from Mexico City. Frank, before we lose you on the phone, tell us where you are. Where were you when you felt the earthquake? I'm in the center of Mexico City, ACA. The world started moving back and forth for us just a few uh, minutes ago. Uh, in the building I was standing in, things were falling off the wall. Uh, I picked up my dog, tried to run out to the street. The staircase was moving. I thought it was going to crack apart. We went out into the street like we usually do when we get an earthquake in Mexico City, and the ground continued to move. It seemed the longest earthquake I have experienced in the 21 years I've been living here. Um, the epicenter was located uh, in a nearby state called Puebla, right next to Mexico City. Uh, the magnitude was preliminary measurements around 7.1. That is less than uh, the September 7th earthquake that struck southern Mexico. But because it was so close to the Mexican capital, we felt it powerfully. Uh, see, it was 32 years to the day that a massive earthquake devastated Mexican, uh, the Mexican capital here. And so people were out in the streets. They, uh, you could see tears in their eyes, fear. My heart was pounding, I see. I had never felt an earthquake so powerful. Um, we are told uh, there has been damage reported in Mexico City in the southern part of the capital here. A bridge has collapsed. Major university has suffered uh, damages. The Tech de Monterrey 
And also the worst case we're told right now is a school. A school has collapsed entirely, and unfortunately class was in session. Um, Frank, do you have power? Are you able to see the images we're showing or the images that have been airing on Mexican television? No, we, there's no electricity in the area where I am here now. I still see hundreds of people in the streets. Uh, we're lucky to have cell phone service, I think. Uh, telecommunications has been quite spotty. Um, we're getting, you know, trying to get phone calls from around the world, people checking to see if we're safe here. So there's a lot of concern at this stage. I am told that out in the major avenues and boulevards, all traffic has been uh, come to a complete stop. Uh, public transportation is has been put to a halt by the Mexico City government. So people are not allowed to move around right now. It's, it's quite a moment of quite a bit of fear here. Um, we did see some panic buying in a nearby neighborhood, and a lot of the stores have just shut their doors here, uh, worried that there could be possible looting, things of that sort. So, so there's a lot of fright here at this moment. All right, Frank Contreras, we'll let you go and uh, regroup. Uh, thank you so much. Again, this is what we know right now. The magnitude 7.1 earthquake hitting central Mexico, centered in Pueblo State. Uh, right now, what we know, at least two people dead. There are also reports of a, of a school that has collapsed with students in that school. That's what Frank Contreras told us. Um, that is all we know at the moment. We're going to follow the story and bring you more details, but we should add uh, one more thing that Frank mentioned, which is an eerie coincidence, perhaps. This is also the anniversary of the 1985 earthquake in Mexico City that claimed 10,000 lives. So, um, interesting coincidence there. <laughs> Que se salgan, que se salgan, que se salgan, te vas a caer. Dios mío, 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 Dios mío,
a massive earthquake striking central Mexico, particularly in and around Mexico City. What we know right now is it had registered 7.1 on the Richter scale uh, in the town of Rebozo, 76 miles southeast of Mexico City. Of course, no stranger to these type of calamities. Clouds of smoke could be seen in Mexico City and around buildings that appeared to simply collapse. Office buildings shaken and a lot of windows shattered, as were a lot of people in those buildings a little shaken up as well. Uh, let's get the latest read from Rick Astor, the former, uh, former Seismology Society of America president. Uh, Rick, this area is no stranger to earthquakes. They had one that was fairly significant just a couple of weeks ago, but this in a much more populated region. What, what can you tell us and what does this tell you about what happens now? Yeah, well, you're correct. Uh, this was very different than the uh, other recent earthquake. In, in Mexico, it wasn't a highly populated area. It was a fairly large uh, earthquake, 7.1, certainly very significant. Um, it was uh, rather deep. That is the place where the fault slipped was over 30 miles below the surface. So that uh, uh, reduced the potential damage uh, somewhat. But we are looking at a very significant earthquake here in Mexico. Um, this particular one here, and of course what we're seeing about the buildings, some holding up well, others not. Uh, now they had been girding for this and preparing for this, much like you have a lot of communities that were in the path of hurricanes, getting to be more hurricane resistant or at least deal with them. Mexico's had to deal with that as well, but it's, it's sometimes luck of the draw, right? That's right, and, and Mexico has made strides. Uh, this is not going to be nothing like the 1985 earthquake, uh, which occurred exactly on this date um, That's right. in Mexico City. Uh, however, um, there's a lot of old construction in Mexico, and it takes many decades to uh, make your uh, building stock more resilient. Uh, and, you know, it's always just that luck, too, of where you are. It's such a densely populated city and area. When, when you look at the fallout from something like this, there are always aftershocks, I guess, Rick. I mean, what, what do you envision here? What do Mexicans have to look out for in the area region? Well, there will certainly be strong um, aftershocks. There's a, there's a small chance of another very strong earthquake, although it's not a high probability. Um, but approximately 10 million people, people uh, felt strong ground motion in this uh, in this earthquake and uh, we are anticipating uh, casualties and uh, we're already seeing early indications of that um, it's uh, again it's a, it's a significant event in Mexico it's certainly not a worst case but uh, we're, we're girding ourselves for uh, some uh, some difficult times uh, for the Mexican people in recovering from this. Uh, the earthquake severity and then the number of them over the last year. I mean, you keep track of this, and you did, of course, and your your days just just monitoring these worldwide. How has earthquake activity been besides places in Haiti and elsewhere, where of course the, it could be exponentially more dangerous and disastrous, given you know the fact they have so few structures able to withstand even minor tremors. Right. Well, the natural frequency of earthquakes is, is highly random. Uh, what is changing in the world, of course, is that uh, we have a lot, uh, we have much larger cities and we have a lot more people in harm's way. So it's a race against building smarter buildings and public education um, and the uh, geological inevitability of large earthquakes. All right. And, and just as you were guesstimating, Rick, um, we are getting confirmation from Mexico City's mayor that uh, there are people apparently trapped in collapsed buildings in and around the city. Uh, for a lot of those folks, and even the rescue effort is complicated by those aftershocks you talked about, right? Indeed. Um, strong aftershocks are a significant hazard during the early uh, period of recovery from an event like this. Um, the uh, epicenter of the earthquake was actually much closer to Pueblo, which is a major city of uh, uh, well over, uh, I believe, 3 million people in the immediate area um, southeast of Mexico City. So uh, it's not just Mexico City that was uh, affected in terms of large urban areas. All right. Um, thank you very, very much. Se cayeron edificios. Se cayeron. No son ahí una fuga de gas de un camión estacionario. No lo encontramos. Estamos viendo que nada más hay un. Dios está con nosotros. Lo que pasa es que estamos en una zona, en una. Pero ahí está.
Sí, son los lo que, lo que, queda. Lo que desprende. Ajá. Sí. Lo que queda. Pero ahora sí. Fue en Buen guerrero. Remélem, hogy hasznosnak találtátok a videót, mindenkinek a legjobbakat, és halleluja!